in her new book. Hold on. You have to do your outside voice. Okay, fine, fine. Is this good enough? Yes, yeah. outside okay. voice. Okay. Can't be true. An Undertale story by Natalie D. Me. M. <laughs> e. <laughs> Introduction. Sands walked through the snow. His feet crunched as he moved forward in the cold substance. He was, he was going to meet his comedian in training by the big purple door at the end of the snowy path. He had been going there for a few weeks now to practice knock-knock jokes. He didn't... He didn't expect anyone to answer back, but someone did. It was a woman's voice. She laughed at his jokes and told her own. Sand started going back every day to tell jokes and laugh at the mystery woman. Sands huffed, and a cold cloud of his breath was seen in the cold and air. His, he continued to make his way down the path, trees aligned the sides, covered in snow. That's when he saw it, a red scarf lying in the snow in front of him. Sands knew immediately who it belonged to his brother, Papyrus. Papyrus was his only other brother. He was also younger than Sans, although it didn't look like it, considering that Papyrus was a lot taller than him. A lot taller. Must have dropped it. Odd for my bro, but stuff happens, Sans said as he walked close to the object. As he drew nearer, he saw that there were snow speckles on the scarf. No, it wasn't snow. It's too dark to be snow, Sans thought. He broke into a trot, and eventually, he was, and eventually he was in reaching distance of the scarf. It was until then that he learned the horrifying truth. The speckles on the scarf was dust. Sands looked at the scarf as if it were a dream, no, nightmare, that he would wake up from at any second. He waited, but he didn't wake up. This was real. Oh my gosh.